Hello, Avon Lake, and welcome to episode 16 of Anchor News Now. I'm Owen Budzar. And I'm Maddie Balkman, and we're going to get right into Merple Grams. Here at Avon Lake, we have a tradition where the Merple Graham Choir Program goes around the school singing songs for certain students. Students were able to purchase a Merple Graham during lunch periods and pick a song for their special someone. Merple sing a variety of songs consisting of old school, Justin Bieber, and new Harry Styles songs. My personal favorites were Baby by Justin Bieber or Adore You by Harry Styles. This is a fun tradition students look forward to every year, and each year students are excited about what the Merple Grams will sing and their performances to bring the Valentine's Day spirit. Recently at our school, we got a new pet. After a competitive contest, the school voted on the name Rango for the Bearded Dragon. The Pets in the School program is a program that helps students with and without disabilities connect with animals. Mrs. Tomlin was the leading part in getting the grant for the program in partnership with PetSmart. The program itself is going to integrate both students with disabilities and without disabilities, and it's been a great asset to our program. This little guy, we've named him, so my group was working a lot on asking people to vote to determine his name, and then we did a math program to count all the, the ballots, and we, we found out that we're going to name him Rango, which we're really excited about. In addition, we had the opportunity to read up on how to take care of the red-bearded dragon. We did a long lesson on the pros and the cons and what pets we should get. And we did research and we found that because this guy liked to be handled and this guy is a very friendly desert animal, he, he would be the perfect reptile pet. When we got Rango, he was six and a half inches in January and he was already seven and a half inches last week. By the time he is fully grown, he will be 24 inches head to tail. That's pretty long. The second pep rally of the year was held last Friday and boy it was fun. The pep rally started off with the student versus staff basketball game which was very close for the most part. Mr. May was dominating for most of the game but senior Austin Olerger changed the momentum by making what should have been an and one on Mr. May. Mr. LaRisha showed who's boss in the paint by adding to the teacher's total before Mr. May ended the game with an and one. Final score was 23 to 22. After the basketball game, the state championship winning dance team had a performance followed by class chants led by the cheerleaders. The second competition was a free throw shooting contest, which was led by Tyler Burke, who carried the juniors to victory. The next competition was a sleeping bag relay race, which the seniors won. Finally, tug of war. The seniors dominated the freshmen and juniors to win the most important competition. Over the whole rally, the juniors came in first place, seniors in second, sophomores in third, and obviously freshmen in last. During the rally, we were lucky enough to mic up some of the athletes during these competitions. Enjoy this segment of Mic'd Up. Get some warm ups in. Hands are a little sweaty. I know, we haven't started yet. We're just warming up. Yeah. I need some warm up. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Get your own rebound. Get your own rebound. Oh, that's cash. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, Ty Burke. That's a miss. Did we win? We got killed yesterday. What? No, turn it around. This is horrible. Turn around. Use that, use that big butt of yours. Use those juicy legs, you know? Hey, pull her out. Whoa, they're on the line. What do you want? Get in, get in. Gotta get in. Yeah, we do that. We like that. We like that. Yeah. All I do is scream. I just scream the entire time. Easy. Get them in the bag. Who's next? Bring them on. Who's next? Bring them on. A calf cramp. Calf cramp. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Whoa! Let's go! Yes, sir! 
Let's go! Bree Jones is a sophomore here at the high school, and not only does she play varsity basketball, she's also in a band. Here at Anchor News Now, we got to sit down and have a conversation with her, and we also got a live performance. The name of my band is Blue Illusion. There is four of us. Um, I sing and I play guitar. We've been together for about like five years. Uh, we've been, we've played at the Rock Off. Uh, that was our third year. We did our first year in 2019, and then we did one last year and this year. I've played guitar since I was seven, and I'm pretty sure back then it was because of Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's episode of Anchor News Now. Make sure to tune in next time and have a nice day. That was such a good read. I can't believe we did that all without the people.